18. And let me tell you something right now. This is my 11th year hosting panels, my first time in all age. And these people from Marvel Games have brought you exclusive videos, exclusive announcements, exclusive characters, exclusive things I can't say right now because they would spoil what they are later. So I need to ask you one more time. How are you, San Diego? Get right to it. You, young boy, what's your name and what do you do? <laughs> My name is Mike Jones. I'm the executive producer at Marvel Games. Uh, and as Eddie said, as Greg said, this is our first ever Hall H. So we're honored, we're thrilled to be here with you guys and show you some incredible new stuff that our, all of our game partners have been working on. Stop right there before we go to this very old boy. Ladies and gentlemen, who's been to a panel before at Comic Con? your hands, and that means you've been to bad panels at Comic-Con. This is a panel of excitement. When they say it's their first Hall H and they're excited, you get to yell and cheer and do that right now! When they announce that Spider-Man on PlayStation 4 has been delayed to next year, you get to boo like this! Don't worry, it's not okay. Bill, who are you and what do you do? Hey, true believers, I'm Bill Roseman, creative director at Marvel Games. I've been lucky enough to work for Marvel for 20 years. More importantly, I've been a Marvel fan since I was six years old, and I am psyched to be here at Hall H with you! Matt, yes. why are you on this panel? I am here, my name is Matt Kramer, I'm the uh, creative director at Sanzaro Games. And today we're going to show you some cool stuff from Marvel Powers United VR. Hi, you young and pine. Hello. You guys have come from a long way. Where are you from? Uh, actually, I'm from North. Oh no, South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> in, in what games are you guys working on? Uh, first, I would like to introduce our director, who, uh, which will make a brief introduction. Hi everyone, my name is Hyun Lee, director of Marvel Battle Lines from Nexon Decade Studio. And uh, that was San Diego, I'm Pine Son, I'm with the Marvel Battle Lines team too, game designers, night writer, and also I'm here to help with the presentation. And Jason, all the way down there. What's up? Hi, uh, I'm from Fox Next Los Angeles. We've created Marvel Strike Force, and I'm the creative director. Awesome. Yeah! There's a bunch of name tags for the Spider-Man PS4 people. They actually had their flight canceled and can't show anything about that game today. I'm just kidding, they're coming out later. <laughs> Matt Kramer, let's start with you. Yeah. Well, Tell me a bit about Marvel Powers. Yes, yeah, so, um, you know, it, it's been a fantastic experience. We were here last year at Comic-Con. No, Matt, don't be afraid. Yeah. Don't be afraid of the microphone. Yeah, yeah, your check your maybe, check <laughs> maybe one, two, three. There you go. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Now, we were here last year at uh, Comic-Con. We had, um, you know, a demo on the floor. We showed uh, Hulk, Rocket, oh. Captain Marvel, and of course, everyone's favorite, Murph, with a mouth, Deadpool. Right. Um, we had a, a great time showing the game, and then today, we're going to announce some new stuff, maybe some new characters, um, and, you know, share that with you guys here. Do you want to share right now? I don't, what do you think, guys? Should we show it? Show it. Brady. It's incredible. It's, uh, that's what Mike does. He did, well, we go to test the game. He's just cha -ching, cha -ching. <laughs> <laughs> For hours. But yeah, it, it's been a great experience. You know, um, watching that trailer, it's so cool that, to be here sharing it with everyone and finally, you know, showing all these characters. Um, you know, they got some fan favorites in there. It's going to be the first time you're going to be in there as uh, Spider Man in VR, Wolverine. Um, we've got a lot of uh, characters that are fan favorites. We've got Gamora, Star-Lord. Um, but I'll, let me tell you a little bit about the game. Um, it is a four-player co-op game in VR, so you're going to be in there in a shared space with other people. And one of the coolest things is when you look down, let's say you're Rocket Raccoon, right? You look down, you have little, it's full body. You see your little furry yeah. arms. It's the coolest VR experience I've ever had. Yeah, he just sold this game to a completely different demographic. My fur is with me. Yeah, I, I remember last year we would get to the one woo. Props to the one woo. We would get families, you know, coming to play the game, and it's like mom, dad, and brother and sister, little girl standing there, and she's playing as the Hulk, and then the big dad standing there, and he's like, "Hey guys, I'm Rocket," and it's just so awesome to get that visceral feeling 
uh, of being in, in VR, you know, with the Oculus Rift, um, and just bringing these superheroes to life in that space. And you get to go around the Marvel Universe? Yeah, we've got, a, we've got a number of uh, locations, you know, you can go anywhere from uh, Wakanda to... Um, Jotunheim. Jotunheim, we've got Asgard, uh, a lot of, you know, fantastic places to visit. Nowhere. How, how many characters are there? We have 18 playable characters in the game on launch day, which wow. is July 26th. That's next week. That's that, week. that is next week. Next week. Next week, so soon, really soon. Um, and, you know, a lot of fan favorites. The cool thing about these characters is each of them is built from the ground up. You know, we go through all the different moves, like what makes you feel like Captain Marvel? What makes you feel like Black Panther? We work with the Marvel's Games group. We work with Oculus. We really come together to bring that visceral feeling of what it's like to be in VR and, and be these characters. I'm really happy where it turned out. What's up with those two questions? Yeah, get off the yeah. PR spin. Wait a second. You announced four, but there's two more up there to make me uh, We got two more. What, do you guys want to know who the last two are? Yeah. Do you like the X-Men? Play Iceman, you know, uh, if you want to play tactfully in the game, you know, he's going around creating combos, freezing everybody. You can come behind with the Hulk and just smash all that ice that Iceman's created and get some great combos, great teamwork, and some high scores. Really happy to bring the X-Men together and uh, everybody in this roster. It's a very varied roster. Uh, it's fun to make your own team and uh, mix it up however you want. But, uh, okay, that's all well and good, man. But out there, by a round of applause again, don't raise your hands, I swear. Who has an Oculus Rift? Yeah. Right, see, you, not a lot of people have it. Yeah. What, what? You, you know what would be great for those people that don't have one? <laughs> we are announcing on July 31st, Marvel Powers United VR Oculus Bundle. <laughs> want to become your favorite superhero in VR, now's your chance. Now is the chance to do it. Yeah! Not bad, man. Not bad. Now here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Look, look at yourself on the screen down here. Look, 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 look towards the floor. Look at, you're hiding your beautiful eyes. Turn this around the rest of the day. So let people see your face. There you go. Like it? Feeling like? Not too bad. What else you guys got up your sleeve for this family? All right, true believers. Who likes card battling games? Well, as you heard earlier, our friends from Nexon have come here all the way from South Korea. Let's give it up for our friends from Nexon coming all this way to unleash horrible battle Thanks, 먼저 이 Core H에서 마블 팬 여러분과 만나게 되어서 매우 기쁘고. Well, first of all, we are so excited you guys came here in the Hall H, and we are super excited to introduce our new game, Marvel Battle Lines. Yeah. Our game Marvel team is all Marvel fans. When we started making this game, we wanted to share the Marvel Universe's depth and depth with many people. So our entire team. Is a huge fan of Marvel Comics, so we really wanted to share this fun of the extensive Marvel Universe from the beginning of this project. So our illustrations and visual effects. Well, oh, really look like comic style. So actually, it turned out this game itself looks like a comic. 저희는 마블 코믹스의 정통성을 살리고 수많은 캐릭터가 등장하는 새로운 전략 카드 배틀 게임을 만들었습니다. So while keeping this authenticity of the Marvel comics, Marvel Battle Line, uh, it's it's making a totally completely different strategic card battle game with hundreds of characters in it. 방금 수많은 캐릭터라고 했는데요. 말 그대로 수백 명의 영웅과 빌런들이 나오는 게임이고요. 여러분들은 이 수백 명의 영웅과 빌런들을 카드로 수집하고 여러분들만의 팀을 덱으로 만들 수 있습니다. I just said a hundred of characters, literally. There are hundreds of 
hundreds of superheroes, villains to collect, and you can make your own deck out of it. Uh, in this game, the strategy comes from the card abilities along from positioning the character. Now, Yuri, crap. I don't. I feel like we're in a meme here. Just what's going on? You two, what? Sit up. Wow, you know, only one of us. Somebody's gonna have to change. How are they gonna tell us apart, Greg? Somebody's gonna change. Do you have another outfit you can get into? Yeah, hold on a second. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to tease you. Uh, I want to do it how we did it before with the opening of it and go down the line. Brian, a little young boy, so fresh faced in the video game industry here. Just, I, yeah. just a little scamp. Yes. Yeah. What do you do here? What do you do? What do you do? Uh, uh, I. I'm the, I'm the creative director. <laughs> You're the creative director on Spider-Man. What does that mean to a layman in the crowd? Uh, I uh, work with a lot of talented people who make uh, my dreams come true. Oh, okay, great. Oh, oh, oh. not oh. just your dreams, Brian. Not just your <laughs> dreams. <laughs> Jacinda, what do you do with Spider-Man? I am the studio art director at Insomnia Games, and I'm also the art director of Spider-Man PS. And she gets to sit next to me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Well, yeah, we're, like, we're like desk buddies. So. <laughs> John, what's your role in Spider-Man? Uh, I'm the lead writer on Spider-Man, and uh, so I, whenever Brian is like, I got this great idea, I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then Yuri, what do you do with this video game? I wear a suit that's just like yours. Uh -huh. I, uh, I, I play Peter Parker and Spider-Man along with the, uh, the talented uh, Ross Constum and Seth Austin who do all the cool Spider-Man-y stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's us. Brian, how long have you been working on Spider-Man? I had a lot more hair with this. About a few years now. So yeah, it's uh, pretty exciting that a couple months it's like less than 50 days now that uh, everybody can play it. We're, uh, we couldn't be more thrilled. What's that feeling like to know the finish line's that close September 7th? Uh, super exciting and scary as hell that <laughs> finally we're giving it to everybody. So, um, But I couldn't be more thrilled. It's weeks now, months months now, Brian. Huh? It's weeks. It's like literally Ow. months. Don't, please don't say that. <laughs> I, heard, I heard 50 days. 50 days? Yeah. So here it is, E3 B-roll, of course, uh, Spider-Man's big debut. Uh, I think it did it blow everybody's mind to see this game in action. Everybody see it. <laughs> Jacinda, what, what was the you talk about being you know art for this art direction? Like, what was the art direction for Spider-Man on PlayStation Four? It was to make it as awesome as possible. <laughs> but um, as you know, we're talking about um, a more experienced uh, Spider-Man, so he's been protecting the city of New York for eight years. So we wanted to make a city that was worth saving, um, and so you'll see that it's full of people um, and. Um, he can interact with the citizens, um, and it's pretty funny because you can greet them, and as you know, the city always has a love-hate thing with Spider-Man, so it actually uh, will react to him as the story evolves. Cool. John, how do you go about an open world like this and bring in story and keep everybody on track, but give them things to do? Yeah, well, um, early on we decided we wanted the, the city to be a character, um, and then we kind of treated it as a character in the story, so, um, you know, we, we gave it an arc like we do with all the other characters, and, and uh, you know, try to make it a, a character that you fall in love with. Yuri, what's it like being Spider-Man? You better say it's great. <laughs> <laughs> There's, it's amazing. It is the, the guys, we're in it's Hall here. It's full yeah. of Doctor Who. This is the greatest thing. No, the, playing Spider-Man is, is a dream come true. I, I, I really don't know how else to put it. This has been, a, a, I, I call it a dream job, but it's hardly been a job. It's just a dream. Now, Brian, this is a, we just saw a whole bunch of E3 footage. Yeah. The game, of course, playable. Down on the show floor. It is. Is that all you brought? Is that all you want to show people? Old stuff? Are you doing that? Everybody boo Brian. <laughs> Don't do that. No, no, he, I'll fight you. I, 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 no, I, no, no, knock him down a peg. Look at him. He's got, he's got a popular game. He thinks he's so cool. Doesn't have to wear glasses. Boo. Yeah, true. Boo. True. Um, I have. We have brought something for yeah. just for this group. Well, it's, uh, Next week, you're getting to do a press tour. Yeah, so a bunch of us are going all over the world to uh, talk about Spider-Man, uh, let people play the first couple hours of the game, but I figured why wait uh, to, sh to bet till then? Why don't we just show the beginning of the game, the opening cinematic right now? Would you like to see the opening of 
Marvel Spider-Man. You can't just start by... It seems like it's all environmental storytelling, right? It's this pan around, it's filthy, there's things of picking up Aunt May, rent's overdue. Sure, yeah. Yeah, we try to do as much as we can, uh, you know, through environmental storytelling. Early on, we, we thought, you know, what would be the best way to, uh, you know, kind of show who this Peter is? You know, because he's, he's a little bit, um, you know, uh, more experienced than the one that we normally know, so... Um, we figured a pan across the apartment, you know, kind of showing some, some cool parts of his life, having him smell the smelly uniform, <laughs> um, and then, uh, yeah, jump through the window. And it's really fun to play, by the way. Like, every time I play that, and I sure. play it a lot, every single time, it's like, yeah. And I love that simple, quick moment where he's looking at the overdue rent, and he's, he's stepping forward, he, like, should I, oh, I gotta pay the rent, or I'm gonna be in trouble. He knows what's happening. He's got to make hour. a choice. He's, he's torn, and he does a heroic thing. Out the window he goes. Responsibility. Great responsibility. Exactly. Well, that's how it works, right? I think, hey, Bill, you know Spider-Man pretty well. You've worked at Marvel quite a bit. A little bit. Well, like, you know, I do happen to have a nine-year-old who was named Peter, so... Oh, wow. All right. I feel like every great Spider-Man story is that, though, right? It's the conflict of Spider-Man's life versus Peter's life. Exactly. From the very beginning, our first our first discussion, we talked about a lot of our favorite stories growing up about Spider-Man, whether it's comic books, cartoons, or even the films, that the best Spider-Man stories are when his worlds collide. When he has a civilian life and his problems here and he really cares about and loves. And then he has a Spider-Man life and the villains he faces. And when those villains and the things he has to do with Spider-Man impact his, his civilian life and his loved ones, that's when you get that wonderful Marvel soap opera uh, action and story. And that's when you get the heart within the action. Yep. Now, Brian. Let's pull the pin out of it over there, right? I see you guys are constantly showing me this white Spider-Man symbol, you know what I mean? Making yeah. a big deal about it, making me buy new merch because there's all these new Spider-Man cards. <laughs> and why are you showing this old suit, Brian? What's happening with the old suit? Uh, God, I forgot he was going to do this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> everything we do, everything we do in the game is based on, is something based on the story. Everything we want to do, even how, what Peter suits. So there, something happens at this tower in a mission later, and at some point, Pete has to design a new suit. And when you play the game on September 7th, you will understand how the white spider comes to be. It's a very, it's tied to a very important part in the story. The story. It's, for, it's not the only suit, is it? No, there are, there are many, many, many suits in the game. Apparently for Peter, designing a new suit is easier than doing laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, tell us the number right now, final number. How many suits in the game? More than we've shown. How many have you shown so far? Uh, I think three, four. Okay. Five. Okay, so we've seen Spider Punk before. Yes, we've seen Spider Punk. Who have we seen else? You've seen Infinity War, Iron Spider. Okay. And then, I think you promised, didn't you guys, that you were going to announce a new one here? We didn't say here, but we said soon, but I figured <laughs> this is probably the best place to do it. <laughs> September 7th is coming up pretty quick. <laughs> yes. What's your new suit? It's a brand new suit that no one's ever seen before. It's brand new. Do you guys want to see it? Yeah! Let's um, Along with words from... Um... <laughs> it's got words! It's got words!